I think she's changed a lot. I'm, I'm particularly interested to see how, she, um, how she's going to sort of move into, uh, we've just finished shooting season three, and how she's going to move into season four. But um, definitely from the beginning, I think people forget that, that actually when we first met Olivia, she was this happy, kind of young, fresh, you know, hardworking FBI agent, you know, totally in love and really quite okay with her life. And it's only since all of these fringe events and all of these memories from her past and, you know, all this other stuff sort of came up that she got more and more and more and more and more and more kind of like weighed down by life generally. And I, um, I'm hopeful that, that by the end of the show, whenever that may be, um, she will have returned to what I think is the essence of her. Je ne vous connais pas. Quoi qu'on vous ait raconté, je ne suis pas votre Olivia Dunham. The two Olivias are exactly the same person. They're so much the same that they're, you know, they have exactly the same job. They're working for the same people. They're, you know, so I, I sort of spent a little bit of time trying to think about how you get to a particular place, um, but just in a, in a different way. And I've always thought that our Olivia is just so so earnest and she's she just always wants to be the best she wants to be the best protector and you know the best agent and you know like the, the, she just wants to be the best and she carries that kind of weight with her everywhere she goes whereas i think um the alternate olivia wants to win like she just wants to win and she's like come on let's go there's there's she's competitive and she's kind of like she's like a fighter pilot and i can sort of you can see how they would end up in the same job, in the same place, and pretty kind of similar, but with just like a little bit of a different edge to them both.